There's something very wrong with this moth. Take a close look. It looks like it's covered in this cream-colored spiky goo. This is what a normal moth looks like. So what happened to this one? Well, one day, a microscopic spore from a parasitic fungus landed on this moth. Day by day, the fungus grew. It digested the moth's insides and enveloped its entire body. Then, it sprouted these cute little branches to produce more spores, which flew away and infected more moths. Like this one, pinned inside this wooden box. When I saw this, I thought these fungi must only infect moths. But I was wrong, because take a look here. It's a small spider, parasitized by another fungus. Here it is up close. Do you see its abdomen? There's the fungus sprouting out of it. This spider is only the beginning. Here's a fungus that's wrapped around the body of a beetle larva, like a tight little blanket. Here's another growing out of the head of a larva instead. And look inside this tube. There's a parasitic fungus growing out of a caterpillar from this end right here. This one grew to be absolutely massive, over a foot long. Now I thought these fungi must kill the insects right away, but that's not the case. Sometimes they keep them alive. Look here, this is what a normal cicada looks like. This is what a cicada looks like that's been infected by a parasitic fungus. Can you spot the difference? How about from this angle? The fungus has entirely replaced the end of this cicada's abdomen. But the thing is, the infected cicada continues to live. And when it flies around, it sprinkles little fungus spores on the ground below like an infectious salt shaker. Now it looks like just the bodies of these insects are infected, but that's not the case. When these fungi take over an insect, they infect its body and its mind. Listen to this. If a male cicada is infected, the fungus will make it act like a female cicada. Specifically, it will start to flicker its wings, which is a behavior only seen in female cicadas that are ready to mate. Uninfected males will see these fake flickers and be entirely tricked. These uninfected males will come to mate with the infected males, only to become infected themselves. Specimen use made possible by the University of Michigan Museum of Zoology and Herbarium.